Welcome along. We are going to make a traditional type of fidget spinner with the bearing in the center and the three counterweights. Typically bearings themselves, but usually not the good quality ones. And I'm going to show you how I drew that little one up. Yours could be slightly different, but I'm going to show you how I came up with that. So I'm going to stay in this document and make a new part. Click on the little plus, create part. And I'll start with a sketch on my top plane as usual. Let's uh, put a circle in the middle. See the shortcut, make sure I'm right in the center there where they intersect those planes. Click on here and we've come to the conclusion our bearings need a little bit of um, space, so 22.2. .2. I'm going to do an offset, O, that circle, hit enter, and this time I'm going to make it 2 mil. I'm going to do another circle up the top on this line here, which is the edge of the plane. I'm going to imagine I'm going to put another bearing in there and uh, offset it, 2 mil. Now this is slightly different than what we've done before. I'm going to dimension it. It wasn't very far, about 28 mil. And then I'm going to do a copy around there. So your icon might be by default on there. Linear is a straight line, line, linear. I'm going to do a, a circular. Oops, I keep clicking on buttons. It's Cold down here. So there, that's what I want, circular pattern. Pick what I want to copy, which is that circle there, and the default is three, which is exactly what I want. If I wanted to change it, I could double click on the three and do four. But three is what I want, and it, the mouse has a little green tick on the left button. I'm going to do that. Now that's not mirrored, that's just copied, so they'll move, or, or I could change dimensions and things like that. But I want to lock them in place, so I'm going to use the dimension tool. And watch what I do. I'm going to go from this line to there. 24, I'm not going to change that. I'm going to go from here to there. And I'm going to do the same over here. I could even lock it. No, I'll do exactly the same. 14. So. These numbers are the same, and it's going to stay there now. There's a reason I'm doing that. I'm going to take a circle tool, and I'm going to make that circle hit each one of these. And that's called a tangent. So you can see the icon up there, tangent. Now I'm not going to give that a size, okay? I'm going to go tangent, that edge there, that edge there, and that edge there. Now, it's adjusted the circle accordingly. I don't even know what dimension is. It's just made it fit. Okay. Um, so I went over there. Tangent. To there. Oh, there. 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 Now, obviously, they're going to be exactly the same. Um, I could copy them around, but it's good practice circle this one has to be on that line there so I did it on there anyway watch what happens now if I do um, tangent there it's really big okay because it just needs to touch there and there however I want it to touch this one as well oops Red means it's over constrained, I've done too much. I'll go back because I think that was done before. Tangent. There. Perfect. Now let's trim away the little bits I don't want. Looks like a fidget spinner. Tick. Happy with that sketch. I'm going to do an extrude. Symmetric. Thickness of my bearing, 7mm, I'm going to do that one, that one, that one, and that one. 
And I'm going to make the webbing a separate extrusion if I want to make some changes later. So my sketch is hidden. I'm going to click on the little eye next to it so I can see it again. Extrude and set this the same. Symmetric. Do that one, that one, that one. Change them to 7mm. Now, they're different colors and you can see all the parts popping up there. So everything now is its own unique little part. But I want to merge them all together because I want to do some other things. So I'm going to go add, click on merge. And now there's just one part. That's what I want for this job. Now that I've got the one part, I'm going to do my fillet. And make it 0.5, only a little. Double click on it, it's 0.5, and I'm going to do, yeah, I just picked one edge because they'll merge together. And there's my fillet around the outside. Ticked. That's how I made my fidget spinner. Spider-Man! <laughs> Spider-Man! 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 Sp